hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be showing you guys how i cook this um gambian fish benching so um this is our very own gambian dish it is very popular in gambia so let's get into the video and i will show you step by step how i cook it so here is the list of all the ingredients i'm going to be using first of all i'm going to be showing you guys the fish i'm going to be using so this is fresh mackerel and um, i've washed it and um, cleaned it so uh, there I have the yellow croaker it's a white fish it's really nice goes very well with benaching you can use any kind of fish that you prefer but I'm using the mackerel and the yellow croaker and I've cleaned it so here is all the ingredients that will be going into the benaching as well I know it's quite a lot but I will go um, into it step by step so that's tamarind, um, also called dohar in olof and this one comes with the seed so here i have fresh parsley which i plucked from my garden i have a garden here where i have most vegetables so that's fresh okra and i'm gonna be using this maggi seasoning this one that i found um, when i went shopping and it's got habanero pepper and onions so i'll be using maggi cube as well um, I like this seasoning a lot. Um, it's the first time that I came across it. And I've used it um, twice now and it's really nice. So um, I'm going to be using some sweet potatoes, which I cut in halves. Then I have um, garlic cloves. So I've got the ginger. I use ginger and garlic in most of my cookings. And I'm going to be using onions. So I've got some carrots. And these are the other vegetables as well. I've got about a bunch of spring onions. I've got cabbage, that's the white cabbage. And that's green bell pepper. Then that's cassava. Um, and I'm gonna be using that yeet. It's just fermented snail. So that's the dry salted fish, also called geja. Very nice, goes very, very well in spinaching. So I've got two lemons and that's two habanero peppers that I'm going to be using and at the side there is some eggplant. So those are the vegetables. So this is the rice I'm going to be using. It's the broken basmatic, hence it's a bit smaller in pieces. So I've got there my vegetable seasoning. I've got my chili powder. I'm not going to be using a lot of that. Just a little bit because I don't like my bernachin to be too spicy. So I've got some plum tomatoes, one kind of plum tomatoes, and that's passata with peppers and chili. I add this to my benachins and, and it gives it that red redness. Yeah, because when I'm cooking um, red benachin, I want it to be very red. So I'm going to be using one, one of that, the passata with peppers and chili. And that's my tomato puree. And that's the lime juice. This is the brand that I go for. And that's um, black pepper. I buy the pepper, the peppercorns and then grind it myself. So I'm going to be using this sea salt and that's sunflower oil. So these are all the ingredients that will be going into the benachin. So here what I'm just doing here is just adding some salt and half a juice of lemon into the fish. Lemon and salt brings out the fish flavor. So that's what I'm squeezing there and I'm going to leave it um, so that the, juice, the lemon juice and the salt can be absorbed by the fish. So I'm going to cover it and just keep it aside for a few minutes whilst I do something else. So here, this is what I'm going to be using to make the rough. Yeah, so rough is just the stuffing that you put inside the fish. So there's black pepper as usual, vegetable seasoning and the chili powder. powder. So here I'm adding some parsley and some garlic ginger. Then I'll chop some of the spring onions. Then I'll add that into my mortar and pestle. You can use your um, your blender for this if you do not have mortar and pestle. So um, yeah, I'm adding it there. Then I'm gonna be adding the green bell peppers as well. So I'll chop all and then add it into the mortar and pestle. So once that is done, I added um, some chili powder, then I'm going to be adding some of the vegetable seasoning. Then I add um, the black pepper, 
black pepper powder so I'm gonna um, combine that all together into a really smooth paste as you can see here so that's the rough yeah and what I'm doing here is just um, creating a hole in the center of the fish yeah so you want to create a deep hole just so that you can insert the rough inside and this is so that um, once you are eating the fish you can be digging into the fish and then you will find this green yummy stuff in it and it's like kind of like a surprise but a, a really nice surprise and it brings all oh, the fish flavor so much and it's really really nice so as you can see here i'm just stuffing in of the rough um, as much as i can get be careful guys when you are doing this step because um if you're using fish that's got bones in it um you have to be careful so that you don't prick your fingers because it because it has happened to me once whilst i was doing this and a bone got cut into my fingers and it hurt really really badly so you might want to use gloves for this part so i'm gonna do the whole fish and i'm gonna set it aside as well
so whilst that is going on there um, on the side here I'm just washing my rice you just want to wash it about three times with cold water and um, just to remove all of those excess starch and um, I used my strainer to try and catch the rice because since it's smaller it's really really small it can sometimes escape through my palm so I use the strainer just so that I can catch some of the, the, the rice and um, just to be able to wash it properly then I'm gonna place it into my microwave and I'm gonna steam it a bit just for about 10 minutes just over 10 minutes or so So this part is optional and um, if you're going to be having a dahar as a side, dahar can be a quite sour but it's really really nice. So all you have to do is add a little bit of warm water and add some lime juice and add some chili powder and some um, seasoning, whatever seasoning that you have. I'm using the vegetable seasoning and just combine all together. This is so nice guys, dahar goes so well with banishing as a side dish. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna be adding some of that sauce The sauce that I use to cook the vegetables and the fish So I add a little bit of that as well into the dahar and just mix all together So I'm gonna leave that aside and I'm gonna be serving that with the rice once it's done So here you see the rice is out of the microwave as you can see and um, it's hard So I'm just breaking it apart just to loosen it up and I'm gonna be adding it into the, the, the sauce yeah that's the same sauce that we used to cook the fish and the vegetables with so um, if you're using your rice just know the amount of water that it needs so um, if it needs a bit more water you can add it at this point and um, but be, be careful not to add too much water so um after about i think i left mine for about 20 minutes or so as you can see here now my rice is ready it has almost tripled in size and if your rice is not done you can cover it with an aluminium foil at this point and place the lid on top of the the cooking pot again and lower the heat to medium voila that's my banachin ready now guys it looks so appetizing so i've served it on a plate for you guys like i always want to do i um, dish out the rice and i place the fish and the vegetables on top so um I also accompanied it with some um, bisap. We call it bisap in Gambia. That's that on the side. It's basically okra and spinach that's been blended together. So that's what you can see here. I'll also try and do a recipe on that as well and show you guys how I make it. It goes so well with banishing. So on the side here, I dish out some of that juice um, yeah, that we were cooking. This is the, the same juice that I used to cook in the fish and the the vegetables 
So before adding the rice, I just remove some aside just so that I can be pouring it on top of the benachin once it's done. And that's the dahar on the side. All this goes so well with benachin and it was really yummy. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give it a like and I'll see you guys in my next video.